Hurricane Dorian is now a powerful Category 4 hurricane with wind of 140 miles per hour and a pressure of 948 millibars as of 11 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time this August 30th. Currently, Dorian is projected to be a stage 7 on the CDPS where we can expect the first of potential landfalls in Cooperstown, Bahamas on September 1st where it can dump as much as 15 inches of rain. If it starts slowing as it goes through the Bahamas, that number could rise to as much as 27 inches of rain as it goes through that area on Sunday and going into Monday. Dorian currently is at 25.5 degrees north, 71.4 degrees west, again a stage 7 on the CDPS. And those mileages are going to start slowly ticking down as Dorian keeps moving northwest. Cooper's time there in the Bahamas at 391 miles, Miami at 548, Melbourne at 597, Charleston in South Carolina at 718, and Savannah in Georgia at 742 miles. We do have hurricane warnings in effect for the northwestern Bahamas and a hurricane watch for Andros Island in the south western part of the Bahamas and we could see watches and warnings go up for the United States as early as tomorrow into Monday. Getting into the rainfall forecast, you can see where some of the outer banding of Dorian will start affecting the Bahamas going into Saturday and into Sunday and will go over and rake some of the northern Bahama Islands and with the heavy rain and you can see some of that rainfall may start impacting Florida by Tuesday and the worst of it may go over the edge of Florida by Wednesday and that rainfall will start extending north into Georgia and the Carolinas by Thursday and Friday of next week. Possibly could even impact Cape Cod once we get further down the line. Sea surface temperatures though for Dorian are not going to be an issue. Still 28 degrees Celsius out in front of it. Once you do get towards the Bahamas, you have some 29 and 30 and that may help keep its intensity intact once it gets to those areas. Now getting into the forecast, most models do keep Dorian at a category four all the way up to its first potential landfall through the Bahamas into Sunday and Monday. And it's just gonna be a matter of how quick it makes this turn to the north on whether or not Florida is gonna get hammered or if it may get spared. That's really what's gonna be on the table is when it's gonna make that turn. And then we may see if it's gonna impact the Carolinas on its way out through at the end of the week or if it's just gonna go out to sea. There's really a lot of uncertainty once it starts making that turn. But chances of tropical storm forest winds are looking like this. Cooperstown in the Bahamas at 98%. Miami at 91, Melbourne at 88, Savannah and Georgia at 59%, and Charleston, South Carolina at 29%. For Savannah and Charleston, those numbers may increase depending on how quick it makes that turn. Getting into the models, as you can see, most models do keep it as a Category 4. Category 5 is pretty much off the table right now, but we will just have to see what it's going to do. It can surprise us, especially since shear is still going to be fairly favorable, 10 to 15 knots over the next day or two as it does move its way toward the Bahamas. See, surface temperatures are good. Relative humidity is going to be great. And then you can see the models there really in agreement. It's going to start making a turn north. It's just going to matter on when it's going to make that turn. But getting into the visual imaging, you can see how well Dorian has been looking in that eye. Very prominent there on the visual imagery. We're starting to see a little bit of that western side start to get a little rattled away. We're not sure if that's indicative of an eyewall replacement cycle. But in my opinion, I don't think it is, especially when you look at the water vapor. You can see that red ring of convection around almost the entire eye, which would be indicative of it being a solid Category 4, and the winds do support it at 140 miles per hour. And then getting into the infrared, you can start to see some of those darker blacks starting to come up on the northern side of the eye there. That's definitely indicative that it is really maintaining its strength. And we're going to have to keep an eye on this as the Bahamas, you have another day before this is going to be right on your doorstep. And Florida, Georgia, and the Carolinas, you need to keep an eye on this because this projected turn north is really going to be determining the fact of how bad the United States is going to get it. We'll have another update later on. Keep an eye on this as we will be too. Thank you for watching this production of Force 13. For more information about Force 13, you can reach us on all of our media outlets. Our website, force13.com, where we are revamping the website and writing new articles for your reading pleasure. We're also on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash force13. You're probably there already. If you are, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button to keep getting updates like these rolling into your mailbox. We're also on Facebook, keyword force13, where we'll post our articles and keep an eye out there for any live events that we may simulcast there. We're also on Twitter, keyword force13. 
And if you want to look swag like our own Nathan Foy here, you can rock our colors by going to our store. Our store is store.force13.com, or you can continue directly to the project by way of the Patreon. More information about patronage and the privileges you can get from it can be found at patreon.com forward slash force13. And if you want to reach out to the project directly, you can reach out to us at force13 on Skype. Or you can hit me up directly at extension T Ren, extension 1375. Or you can hit that link in the bottom of the description to get to our Discord. That information also available at the end of this segment.